What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Porkchop here, and I'm coming at you with another installment of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Here, we're going to start doing some missions for the truth, if we haven't already. Uh, but we're also going to go until we finish all the missions with zero today. Which, uh, for those of you that have played San Andreas, you know the uh, infamy that is zero. But here we go. Peace. I've got everything you need, Lone Traveler. It's in the mothership. Back there. Thanks, man. Look, here go your paper. Ah, uh, the karmic circle closes. All is as it should be. Back to the egg. Ooh. Damn, man, there must be two tons of that stuff back there. What's that noise? Hey, that sound like a chopper. Oh, man. Narks, you fucking rat. Dude, don't put that on me. You don't want to deal with Tim, Penny. What's all this? Calm, brother. Panic paves the way to bad karma. Man. We gotta torch those fields. I only hope Kaya can forgive us. Ah, uh, the truth. And thank God we're fireproof. This makes this a lot easier. That's for damn sure. So I can literally just like walk through this. Like I says, cops arriving in five minutes, but we're we're uh, we're already hearing the choppers in the background. So I mean, this must make a lot of my stoner piglets cry watching me do this because it's a uh, it's pretty sad to look at, especially all that hard work. Everything is just for naught, you know. Got that stack? Is that the end of that one? Yeah, okay. Assholes! Right wing assholes! Oh, I don't feel too good. It's a crying shame, ain't it? No, huh. I mean, I think I'm gonna black out. Fight the ocean and you will drown, brother. Carl, man, we'll take the mothership and get our shit out of here. Go get her fired up. I'll finish burning and I'll follow you. Yeah, because we're going to have plenty of time to do this. Like, the cops are three minutes away, and I'm on my last row. So, this one was pretty easy. I think this has always been an easy mission for me, regardless. Okay. Is that not it? Oh. God damn. How many crops does he have in this shit? the end of that, right? Yeah. Okay, good, because I'm running out of... <laughs> running out of shit here. But there was two back here, I guess, that the truth had missed. Okay. That's it for that. Chop on our tail. We'll never shake them now. Hold on. I got a little something back here I was saving for a rainy day. Holy motherfucker. Where'd you get that? Found it in a bale of tie sticks. Shame, really. 
We're gonna make it into a lamp. <laughs> Already got it. There we go. Oh yeah. Suspect last seen on foot and I walked right past it. What you pull over for? You better drive. I haven't driven in fifteen years. You was doing all right? Yeah. Then the fear hit me. <laughs> now I'm rolling a number to calm the waves. Shit, oh I better God. call Caesar. That's funny. Hey, Caesar, no time to talk, man. I'm on my way to San Figuero, okay? I'll meet you and Kendall at that garage I wanted the races. I'll let y'all later. Yeah, CJ's just like, dude. Hey, you want to hit on this? A little temple cherries and a cocktail with some Nepalese munga munga. Put that thing out, man. I can't see. Mellow out, brother. It's good shit. Put it out, motherfucker. I'm warning you. Whoa, chill the fuck out. Firstly, you are a real buzz killer, yeah, amigo. And that's secondly, not work. I never made love to my mother. She wouldn't. And thirdly, we're in this together, so be cool. Sorry, man. I just don't drive when I'm fake. I tried to go up the hill, but I forgot I'm in a goddamn hippie van, so that's not gonna work. Jesus, we screwed. When'd you get this? 1967. How you get around if you don't drop? I have an astral goat called Herbie. She's faster than most, but getting old. Yeah, whatever, man. You talking shit. <laughs> you talking shit. <laughs> What's with all aluminum port, man? Protection from mind control, dude. Mind control? Induction of images, sound or emotion using microwave radiation. Do you know how many government satellites are watching any citizen at any moment? No. 23. Do you know how many religious <laughs> relics are kept at the Pentagon? No, I don't. 23. Do you see a pattern emerging here, man? Man, I'm seeing patterns all over the place. Get that smoke out my face. This thing go any faster? Man, we got three tons of grass on board. The engine block is held together with a macrame hammock, and it's running on 15-year-old cooking oil. Shit. Can you <laughs> shoot? Shoot. I'm a hippie. The only thing I've shot is acid. I heard about this dude snorting it once. Thought his nose was a kangaroo and the moon was a dog. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as shit. And I'm trying to get a word in edgewise, but I don't want to disrupt the dialogue between CJ and the truth, so... Looks like I got a little bit of a break right now, which is fine. But yeah, this bus is slow as molasses. But we're getting there. Oh, I say it's slow as molasses. Isn't that I... Oh, shit, that could have been bad. There she is, brother. San Fierro, the city of psychedelic wonders. Man, I can't believe I ain't been here before. You need a better place to escape the man, man. Okay, Mr. San Fierro, where's the spot at? It's in Doherty, on the east side of Fierro, between Garcia and Easter Basin. I can't believe I've been here before. But we have technically been here before. <laughs> That's where I did the, uh, the NRG 500 side mission. I forgot that I wasn't supposed to do that until we got to San Fierro. I also did the, uh, the delivery stuff here, too. So, CJ's lying. He has been here before. Them white boys got me on crystal meth. Here's the garage. This is the place. Whoa, Jesus, dude. Looks like you've been fed a bummer. <laughs> I love that Jack so, I got respect and a rocket launcher for that. I'm okay with that.
All right. Wear flowers in your hair. Yeah, I apologize for the dogs in the background. Motherfucker! That mute asshole! That fucking snake without a tongue! Gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip! I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world! Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Girl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name, and for once, I try to make something work this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh. That's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here, it's fantastic. Oh. Yeah, uh, all right. But how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. <laughs> man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. <laughs> For lack of a better word, the truth is a trip. <laughs> I love his character so much. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Until the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit, but the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Basin. Mob took it over in Vice? If you're referring to the... Hey, man, uh, how you meet these dudes anyway? Boatyard. Met them at the Indian Fierro Fierro Lovin', apparently. Apparently? <laughs> you know how it is, man. Feel the tents, crazy ass music, a quart of mescaline vodka, polar bears. Polar bears? Yeah, go figure. But they were funny guys, man. Great sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, obviously, I think it's referring to Tommy buying the boat yard by City. I think that's the reference. I understood that reference. <laughs> right, is there a way to get up there from here? It looks like it. If I don't run into a fucking tree first. That's a weird little thing that I just discovered right there. <laughs> this here's Vietnamese gang territory. Nang boys, shining razors, butterfly children. Watch yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. Cats may be real serious, but I got a freaking rocket launcher, so I wouldn't want to screw with anybody with a rocket launcher. Just like my old garage that I just bought. Really? We're gonna land right square in the middle. Hey, Jethro! Jethro! Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth Dude! Oh, man. Do, do I owe you? Because I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man, we're good. I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District, west of here. Yeah. You sick? No. The government is. But that's a long story. <laughs> so, you know, like, what's the deal, dudes? I'm opening the garage in Doherty by the waste ground. You know, car mods, low riders, all that shit. You down? Polar bear shit in the woods. No, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent, if I remember <laughs> it right. Yeah, that was like so far gone. Polar bear shit in the woods. It's funny. So CJ says this is the Pope shit in the woods, and 
Jethro says the, the polar bear shit in the woods. Uh oh, I thought I was gonna hit that motorcycle. Swerve skills. We'll be here for anyway. Nothing. Oh, don't look. Cover your faces. Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping again. Shh. Okay. I've seen enough. Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings. Come on, dude. What's all that about? You don't want to know. Why? Do you know what a subdermal neurophone is? A what? Exactly. <laughs> Sometimes it's best to stay in the dark, kid. <laughs> well, look, here's the hot dog. That's my dog, Dude, Dwayne, man, how's the hot dog business? It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got, like, some shit to take care of first, though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Doherty. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> okay, next stop, cop station downtown. What? Watch your mind. Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, okay. But you're starting to freak me out with all that spaceship, man. Spoiled brat! Felicia. I probably could have done that better. <laughs> hey, at least we're driving in places that are close. Like for a second there, like between Caesar's mission and Crasher's mission and stuff like that, it's like all that driving just got annoying after a while. And even driving to San Fierro was like, ugh. But we're here. Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. Picture a pink golf ball in your mind. Okay, we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. He could fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Look, what's going on, True? Who was in do? Don't go there, man. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janis Joplin. And the only reason we've been in a Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake-headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro dot. Good. <laughs> Keep it that way. <laughs> so JFK and Janis Joplin are living in living together. Okay, I can go this way. Technically. Janice Joplin and <laughs> Jeff Carroll live in Scotland together. It's bad enough that JFK and Marilyn Monroe had a thing going on, but Janice Joplin's involved in this now? Alright. Get, get introduced to Zero. Zero. Leave me alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, hey, truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. Oh, James. Carl, zero. Zero, Carl. What's up? Carl here is opening a garage around the corner. I told him you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. 
<laughs> Actually, I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A tip-top genius, that's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. See some of my shit, bro. I'll do that. See some of my shit, bro. What am I, what am I doing here? This is where I'm supposed to go, right? I guess I'm supposed to get out. Come on, Carl, get the fuck in! Get the fuck in? I'm here! What is going on? Okay, there we, we go. Just got it at a weird angle, I guess. A week of hard work, and we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here! What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man. Dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot. Property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is going to get on its feet. And when it does, we are going to have money. If you want to make something of yourself, you got to let your money work for you. Look. I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, okay? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> Man, you chose her. I'm stuck with it. <laughs> Was Zero just pushing a broom upside down? Did I just see that right? Alright, let me save real quick. Alright. Five, 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 we tip. San Fierro is fucked up. I can honestly say I wish you was here. Great. Now you got the present for that friend of mine, right? You know, the one trying to get me and old Officer Pulaski into trouble? Yeah. Why don't you put that up in his car and give Wee Tip a call? Hey, motherfucker, the code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't give a fuck if it kills you, me, my brother. Street cats don't call no cops. Carl, he's a DA. Oh, yeah? Well, where I go find him? He's at the Van Kamp Hotel in the financial. Oh, for sure. Here at the hotel, I should say. The hotel operates a valet service. The DA will be dropping his car off here shortly. Oh, the valet. I'm late for that. I'm I know where he's going. I'm just gonna follow him. Valley's parking the car, take him out while he's down there. And I don't know if it's the same spot every time or if it's randomized, but it looks like it's the pretty much the exact same spot. Nobody punches CJ. Come on, show me what you got. Come on, fight them. Come on. That's very oh, kind of you. Oh, and I took some of his tip money. <laughs> hey, All right. Now 
I got the suit. It's time to go play valet. It's a snapshot of uh, two weeks of my life. Oh, don't mind me. Because I was a valet driver for two weeks ah, before I you quit. You must be the new boy. Get, get in line. DA is driving a blue Merit. Make sure none of the other valet servers is his car first. So I gotta play the waiting game you try to steal me up? for the DA. That's not him. And CJ's been standing there so long, he starts singing songs. Hey, that's the DA. He's a good tipper. Cool. No dings. No dings? How about some dongs? Yeah, this is actually my second attempt doing this. The first time I tried this, I ran out of time. But I had to wrestle the fucking car away from my, uh, quote-unquote, co-worker. Because he got in it before I did. So I dragged his ass out in front of the DA. <laughs> and the DA was, like, trying to fight him. So I was like, I don't know what's going on here. But hopefully this one will go a lot smoother. I do uh, have a time limit that I wasn't paying attention to. So, let's see if we can get this knocked out on the second try. All I'm doing is just planting drugs. It's no big deal. Oh, shit. Well, they didn't count that as a ding, so, uh, great. But I am going to speed this up a little bit and hopefully not regret this. So far, so good. Especially since I had 11 seconds left last time I tried this. Okay. Going down those hills, it's hard to see if there's a car at the bottom of it or not. But it looks like we're good. Okay, where am I supposed to go with it? Going in the mark space. Alright. Pretty smooth this time. Last time not so much. Get outside the car park and call the cops. Is that a police? I'm calling the weed. Hello? This weed tip? I seen something highly suspicious you should come check out. <laughs> Do you know who you're fucking with here? I'll have your badge, you moron! Shut up! You find anything back there? Found anything? He's got half of Mexico in here. <laughs> Must be two tons of Mary here. What? But but I've never seen. How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy! Oh. <laughs> Hell of a defense you got there, buddy. Alright, and like uh, I stated in my previous install, or attempt I should say, 
Uh, now we can do valet missions on the side. We'll come back and do that later, but it's really kind of cool that we can do that, but we have to like change into the uniform before we go into work. My MSW is Which is actually kind of cool because it's like right, CJ just getting ready for work, you know, just going to work. Instead of just like popping up and being like, bam, okay. Thanks, dude. Ooh. Thanks a lot. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, here's the last mission that we have to do for CJ before we start the zero missions. If I'm not mistaken. And I can't buy that house across the street from my shop for some reason, so... That's weird. Let's go ahead and pop on over here. Oh, uh, phone call. Yeah, what? Sorry, Carl, are you busy? Zero? Nah, man, good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, uh, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. Okay, this, yeah, this is the last one I have to do for CJ. Deconstruction. Hey, homies. What up, Carl? What the fuck is going on? Do I look like a hooker to you? What? Those assholes keep saying shit to me. Who said this to you? The construction workers up that hill. I'ma fuck them up. Nah, hold up. I got this. I need to go teach him a little respect. Huh? That's right. Yeah. yeah. I've been thinking about getting me some new land anyway. <laughs> That's why it's called deconstruction. Scare them off. Destroy our all the portables and kill the foreman. Oh yeah, this is one of the this is the mission with the uh, real fucked up ending to it. But yeah, they want me to take this. Explosive barrel right there that I totally could have just hit. Whoa! Okay. There are three left. This is happening on a stormy, rainy night. Got half of. Sam Fierro coming to get me now. So I guess I'll just come back for that one. Okay. Guess I gotta hit it at an angle. Oh, explosive. Okay, okay. Yeah, traction with this thing sucks. <laughs> oh, damn, you can hear What's his all that damn clatter? <laughs> Holy crap, I didn't see nothing. Holy crap, I didn't see nothing. I mean, it's a little drastic, if you ask me, but whatever. What? Oh, God, no! Oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna blow! You trying to kill someone? Oh, 
Hey, thanks for the assist, man. I appreciate you. Bring it on, buddy. Oh, man. Oh, I'm going to bury a, a truck in there, too. I'm gonna have to get this out of the way first. Damn it. I was hoping to have to skip a couple of steps, but looks like I kind of screwed myself. I'm gonna mess you up. Now, what's your problem? There we go. Got him out of the way. But hey, at least we don't have to worry about the other truck coming to screw with us, because they, uh, Kind of screw their, screw, screw the pooch on that one. Okay. There we go. What a way to go, man! I tell you, <laughs> dying in a porta john and then being pushed into a hole and getting buried in said hole, filled with concrete. Yikes. Alright, well that's all I got for CJ for now. Alright, let's go save up. Alright, another call. Yeah, what? Yo, man! It's Jethro, dude! Hey, Jethro, what up? Well, I was talking to Caesar and, uh, well, don't get me wrong, dude. I mean, you are one out there dude when it comes to driving, man. But Caesar, he told us how many cars you get through, dude. And me and Dwayne were like, whoa! What is your point, Jethro? No, no point, man, no point. Just that there's an advanced driving school, like, just up the road from the garage, man. Like mm. in Doherty. Driving school? Man, exactly what you trying to say, man. Nothing, man, nothing. It was Dwayne's idea. <laughs> I think you're, you know, cool and shit. I, I better go, CJ. I'll see you later. Saying you gotta go to driving school. Which the funny part is, is I'm a better driver now than I was when I was a kid with this game. <laughs> According to my driving skills. But, we'll go do zero missions. By the property first. There we go. Now we own zero RC. Property bot, let's go inside. I laugh at your attempt to tickle me. Kept it all day long. Okay. Nice little shop we got here, huh? What was that? A nap? Oh, hi, Z. You wasn't around when I signed the deeds. Yes, I know. I was on a dangerous reconnaissance mission, deep into enemy territory. Uh, yeah, right, sure, whatever you say. I should come through and have a look at the business, you know? Oh, of course, of course. I'll have to tidy up a bit. This place is such a mess. Don't worry about it. I'll drop in soon. Like, right now. All right. Here's the start of the uh, trilogy that is the Zero Missions. Hey, what up, Z? Nothing is up, Carl, apart from my blood pressure and the imminent collapse of my hopes and dreams. Why? As usual, the forces of darkness have triumphed over good. Life is nothing but misery, briefly interspersed with agony. Homie, what you own? Whatever it is, you need to reduce the dosage. <laughs> Excuse me, but I never take drugs. We all know drugs are for losers and or sex maniacs. And right now, sex is the last thing on my mind. Thank God for that. Berkeley <laughs> is back. Oh, Berkeley. Yes. 
Who the fuck is Bert? <laughs> Just a man I once beat in fair competition. A man literally obsessed with revenge. Oh, you put hands on him? No, please. <laughs> I never initiate violence. Oh, I know. You knocked his bitch. Uh, no. <laughs> I won the prize in the science fair. <laughs> First prize, that is. And now you want to pop you? <laughs> oh. And they say gangbangers is petty as small mind. <laughs> hey, what's that bleeping sound? That's him. We shall fight to the end. Berkeley's launched a full scale attack. This is insanity. All batteries commence fire. He's going for my transmitters. If he takes them out, I'll never be able to launch a counterattack. All right, we got no this. No problem, man, but they're only toys. They're not toys. They're just smaller. CJ, bogey's at 12 o'clock. Sucks. Fucking planes does he have? We've lost the transmitter! Oh great. We can't lose another transmitter! Okay. How many more of these fucking planes do I have to destroy? Gotcha. <laughs> I hate this mission so much, man. This is ridiculous. He's an asshole. <laughs> okay, does that mean we won? <laughs> yes. Ah, Berkeley. <laughs> as long as we have opposable thumbs, we will fight you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well done, Carl. That was a now bit much. Leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Too little three... No, that's not it. What is it? We will fight him on the beaches. Well, rooftops. <laughs> Man, zero's a trip. <laughs> Alright, number two. Supply lines. I think this is everybody's least favorite mission with zero, but... Never really had a problem. 
Hey, Z, where you at? Go away, Carl. I'm, I'm very, very busy back here. Top, top secret stuff, not for your eyes. Too sensitive. Come on, homie, where are you? I said go away, Carl. I don't need any friends today. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Nip's a pretty strong draw. Yes, my hero. Carl, he came back and humiliated me. I shall probably turn to prostitution now, where I will be found dead and broken. I am a 28-year-old man whose landlord just helped him down from a hook from which I had been hanging from my underwear, contemplating my inadequacy for nearly two hours. Two hours. Mm, my crack. Look, you got to get even, homie. What kind of weapons you got? Uh, I've got a prototype of a miniature plane. <laughs> well, with that plane, we gonna go humiliate Bert. Mm. Okay, cool. <laughs> Man, this is ridiculous. That went right up my crack. <laughs> right up my crack. Man, I couldn't imagine hanging suspended from a hook in a closet Berkeley has by my underwear for two hours. Do all his deliveries. Well, we shall hit him where it hurts the most. Bring his mail order model business to its knees. Launch the Red Baron. All right, guys, I think this is attempt 13 or 14. I can't remember. I've lost fucking count. However, if uh, there's a silver lining in this... Uh, steamy pile of shit. It's, uh, hey, there's that guy I buried. Um, it said I'm getting better with the controls. <laughs> you know, definition of insanity. All that jazz. Get out of there. One down, four to go. That was the hard one. Which, uh, I'm not seeing any white smoke or even black smoke on top of that, so, uh, I guess we, uh, pretty much got out of that unscathed. I mean, we did get shot at a few times, but I've seen worse. Honestly, I've seen way worse. I did have an interesting encounter with the uh, NPC on this one a few attempts back, and that was uh, he just rolled down a hill backwards. It's like the brakes went out in his fucking van or something, because he was just bam. What the fuck are we shooting at here, Carl? You honk at yourself, bitch. Okay. <laughs> Only three delivery boys left. <sighs> Only three delivery boys left, but they're in a different area code. Technically, if you're counting some of the folks, like the couple of the vans, I think, have passengers, and the guys in the motorcycles, obviously. Watch your fuel, Carl. Passenger. Only half a tank left. Half a tank left. Thanks for the reminder, Zero. But, uh, 
So he says three delivery boys left. Technically, there's like four or five. If you want to get technical, zero. And uh, I know it would just add another fold to this already shit level, but being able to stop for fuel would be awesome. You know, zeros on top of the roof with uh, like can of gas or whatever, and he's just like, "Oh, here you go," because this is a tall order, and I've seen some shit. Okay, are they just right up the... Okay. Don't let him get away! Punish him for his war crime! What the fuck?! That dude just took, like, 20 shots to the head! How is he still alive?! Only okay. Because that makes down. total sense. I'm gonna go get the other guy first. Fuck this. God, I avoided that fucking tree. Okay. 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 He's armed with Lieutenant. Be careful, Carl. Now get her back home and we'll Oh, fuck yeah. Out of fuel. Okay. 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 My heart's racing. <laughs> Is this the end? <laughs> Is this all the fucking do? Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. After too many attempts. Thank god. Smell it. You know the ozone smell. Smells like victory. Smells like victory. It smells like therapy for me, but thanks for asking. Alright. One more mission for Zero, and we'll call it an installment. And that is the New Model Army. What's happening, Zero? I'm off to engage with destiny, good or bad. What the hell are you talking about now? The hour of judgment is upon me, and I must ask myself if I am a sheep or a goat. Carl, will you be my second? Here are some letters. I've left everything to you in case I don't make it. Please. Already own it. What's wrong <laughs> with you, man? We are crossing the Rubicon. I am to engage in battle with Berkeley. At stake, honor, and our very lives. It's funny. I've never noticed before how beautiful this time of year can be. I may never again see Rome in the springtime. <laughs> a butterfly. Come on with all the talking, man. Is you gonna battle Berkeley or what? It's a fight to the death. Come hither. <laughs> I'll never see Rome in the springtime. <laughs> Behold. No man's land. Man, y'all take this shit serious. Uh. Berkeley's headquarters is across no man's land. I'll drive the bandit, you fly the goblin, and help any way you can. If I get the bandit into Berkeley's base, he must leave San Fierro for good. Let battle commence! Alright, pick up objects. Okay, flying too high to the ceiling, evidently. Which I didn't know was a thing. Carl, don't be an idiot. Use the goblin to move that barrel. Uh. Carl, I'm blocked. There's another cursed barrel in the way. Okay, I totally misread the situation, so uh, let's try this again. Let's get this Move barrel. It. Carl, Berkeley's blocked me again. Berkeley's an asshole. I think 
Can I drop it on one of these? Oh, I need to put the barrel over there, don't I? Come on. Dude. Dude, 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 dude. Pick up the fucking barrel. Get a plank from our base and make a bridge across that gap. Oh, never mind. I thought I could use the barrel, but... Silly me. Oh god, that's a lot of fucking planks. <laughs> Alright, well luckily Get he's not- a plank to cross that river. I'm trying. Uh, luckily he hasn't, um... Taking any damage yet? Carl, there's no bridge. There's no bridge. I'm working on it. Curse you, Berkeley. Carl, move that barrel. Berkeley's using tanks. Carl, grab a bomb and get rid of any tanks that threaten our progress. Okay, I'm gonna go grab that bomb for you, Zero. But just like the plane, I'm actually Carl, getting the hand of this. What obstruction? Give me a second. You're too demanding, man. Carl, I'm blocked. Uh, zero. Take it easy. Working on it. I wish I could just drop this on the tanks. It'd be a hell of a lot easier. There's another cursed barrel in the way. Alright, I gotta go get another Move bomb. It. Carl, Berkeley's blocked me again. Well, hold on, let me go get another bomb. There's another blasted tank in Curse the way. Curse you, Berkeley! Carl, move that barrel! Man, this Berkeley guy sucks. Hold on. Carl, move that obstruction. Uh, trust me, Zero. You want me to get rid of this fucking tank before I even do that for you. I'm gonna do you a favor. Carl, I'm blocked! There's another cursed barrel in the way. Bro. Carl, I need a bridge, now! Well, you're gonna get a bridge here, just one second. Get me a plank to cross that river. Actually... Yeah, I'll get the plank. I was thinking Carl, that I could probably... there's no bridge! There's no bridge! I was thinking I could get the bomb first, and then destroy that last tank, but we're kinda running out of time here. You know what? Screw it. Let's get rid of that fucking tank first. Carl, I need a bridge now. You're gonna get a bridge here in a sec. One sec. Get me a plank to cross that river. Carl, there's no bridge. 
There's no bridge. Are you sh okay? I was about to say, are you shitting me with that? All right, Carl, hold on. I need a bridge now. I'm getting one. You know, it probably make more sense to put the barrels like stack them instead of get me a plank to cross that zero river. being a little bitch about it. Instead of having to go all the way back to base and grabbing the fucking planks. Carl, there's no bridge. There's no bridge. Keep your keep your panties on. We're, I got this. We're gonna be okay. I had to take out the tanks for you first, Carl, buddy. Carl, I need a bridge now. You're getting one. Get me a plank to cross that river. Oh my god. Carl, there's no bridge. There there's you go. There's no bridge. Cut this one close, but I think we got it. Oh, what the fuck? How the? Oh. Oh, shit. You gotta be kidding me. Did he make it? He made it. He made it with like seconds to spare. <laughs> Holy shit! Two <laughs> seconds to go! Berkeley, you, sir, are a loser. Wow, I can't believe I got that on my first shot. <laughs> Pack up your crummy mail order business and get out of my town, Carl. You were all a duelist like me could want to. I see. don't know how he got past Sir, that barrel, but I salute you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question it. I can't believe I did that on my first try. Awesome. So that takes care of all Zero's missions, which means we got the asset acquired, which I think we get like three grand a day, five grand a day. Awesome. That's even better than three. Whew. Wow. And we got 7k on top of that. I'll take it. Alright, I'm going to go save real quick and I'm going to get out of here. That went a lot longer than I wanted it to, than I needed it to. And, uh, whew, yeah, that supply line or whatever the hell that level's called, that's just for the birds. Can't stand that level whatsoever. But, uh, we got it knocked out and that's one of the hardest, if not the hardest, mission in the game so I'm just gonna go ahead and just chalk up the dub and uh, go save and call it a day all right guys thank y'all so much once again for dropping by I greatly appreciate y'all and always remember my little piglets Colin Porkchop loves y'all the most y'all take it easy guys and I'll see y'all next time bye guys